Hello, welcome back to my Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl Let's Play Blind. Um, not a great start so far, not only because I died <laughs> right at the end of the last episode, but also I have just been recording for about 20 minutes and realised that I in fact wasn't recording. Luckily, uh, I'm at the same stage as I was before insofar as I cannot kill these bandits, um, which is probably good because... As I said, I uh, I accidentally uh, wasn't recording, so I, I, it basically involved me running in a few times, getting killed mainly by guys with shotguns. Um, so I think I'm not going to change tack too much. I'm going to go in with with these guys helping me with Patrona. Um, but I do apologise. Men, Wolf here sent us some support. Along yeah, with it's just I just hit the wrong Thank macro button to uh, to start recording, and I didn't notice for 20 minutes, but. You didn't really miss much, um, again just me going in, mainly guys with shotguns, so something I've kind of learned I guess is stay away from them. Um, a lot of the time I was trying to flank around while the other guys moved in uh, on this, this corner of the car park, but I was getting outnumbered pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to stick with these three now, that's not something I was doing before. Um, but let's see if we can do some damage. They just do not seem to want to go down. I, I don't know if headshots are the same in this game. Headshots are the same insofar as, you know, a headshot is a headshot. But I don't seem to... Yeah, I seem to be hitting them in the head. I seem to be hitting them in the head sometimes and just not getting anywhere with it, but we'll find out. I am playing it on the hardest difficulty, so this maybe is to be expected. There's the guy with the shotgun who always manages to kill me. We should take it a bit slower. One of our guys has already been killed around the outside, so I'm going to move around. These guys are being useless this time. I'm going to try and move in and loot. Where's his body? Oh, it's actually in there. He moved way too far in. Where is the... Uh... He's right behind you, dude! Run! Okay, I just used the bandage there. Okay, we've killed a few people. Yeah, come stay in here with me. Oh! I'm being knocked outside. There's a guy right there. Come on, bro. What are you doing? I'm gonna get a bit of cover here. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall a bit. I killed him, but I have no health. I'm about to die, I think. Can't move. What happens if I use the energy drink? I also have no ammo left. Oh god. Unless I get some a bandage from these guys, I'm going to be dying again. No, game over. This is tough. Yeah, this this is probably maybe the fifth time I've reloaded this. Obviously, as I said, I I fucked up and didn't record it. But um, Men, Wolf yeah, it's tough. I don't know. I mean, maybe I take a little bit take it a little bit slower. I kind of feel like I'm doing that anyway. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Let's just let's move in again. We there's eight of them and only four of us, so it does stand to reason that we're going to be, you know, losing a few guys. Wait, did I speak to him? Why aren't we going? Come on. We've got two with pistols and one with the shotgun. The ideal thing would be like to take this guy out 
this straight away, so I'm gonna try and run up and... Okay, I did, I actually killed him, nice. That was, that was quite good. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit slower. What I don't want is one of my men to go around the left-hand side like last time. Because that wasn't good, he ended up dying very quick. Maybe I will actually go around the, the side instead. Just to cover this area. Because I thought I saw someone there. I'm going to move back around. A little bit more tactical this time. Come on, let me... Oh, he's down, nice. I'm just going to loot him super quick. Because I need the... need the ammo. This is taking a lot of concentration right now. Uh, where is everyone else? There's apparently a guy right in there. Oh wow, I think uh, quite a few of my men have died. Is this an enemy? Okay, so one of our guys has been knocked. He had a bandage on him, which is great. Okay, he's got a shotgun. Move in with that shotty. Move in with that shoddy, mate. Come on. Okay, I've stopped the bleeding. I only have a little bit of ammo left. We've still got two left. Okay, I've got a, a shotgun now, which is fantastic. Uh, cheeky bricky. I'm gonna give it a save right here, a quick save. I'm bleeding again. Use that bandage. What's that? A bit of meat? Our friend is circling around the back. I just saw him. Come on, show yourself. Oh, he killed my... Uh... Oh, damn it. I don't have any more bandages either. Bleeding again. If I can get a close range. There we go, we did it. Now, give me a second. Okay, nice, we did it. I need to uh, find a bandage quick. There's one. Okay, I now should not no longer be bleeding. Good work, buddy, we did it. We did it. Took a few times, as I said. How heavy am I right now? I'm not too heavy. Um, but yeah, we did it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very sad that you, you didn't get to see all of my uh, attempts before. But it was quite embarrassing. I did get killed very quickly. But it's all good. We did it. I'm just looting everyone really quick. Where did my teammate die? I think just around there. We got a good a number of shotguns, some pistols. Yes, nimble. I'm I'm coming to get you, mate. Just give me one second. Oh, that was his corpse. Okay, I'm gonna go and get nimble. Bandages, uh, obviously, very very good. Okay, we have looted all of them. I'm a bit in shock that we did it. Um. Awesome. Soldiers, I'm 
right here. Help I owe you, brother. I could never thank you enough. Thanks, brother. You did us a great service. I don't even know how to thank you. Listen, I need that flash drive. Do you have it? Wait, he doesn't have it? Oh, did I hit trade by mistake? I did, I hit that. Yeah, I got it. Those morons, I can't even do a proper search. Okay, I don't, know. I don't want to know where it was hidden. It was well hidden, but these thugs can't frisk for shit. Nice. Thanks, what did you keep? I didn't keep it down there. <laughs> I worked for a tra uh, trader for a long time so I can store information safely. I told the thugs about an, a, a nice little story about a cache full of artifacts and they ordered one guy to go there. The cache exists, but it's only got one artifact. I can give you its coordinates. Okay. There's lots of wild animals. Besides, the gangster they sent is armed with more than a scoop and a shovel, so be careful. Thanks to you too. Find the perfected suit. While I was in captivity, I heard the bandits talking about their secret stash. Where they keep the hubbar. I had a cool coat there. Next time someone wants to go and iron the stash. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I, I guess I can use this bread. If I use that, yeah, I get health back and food. What's that? Oh, there's the hard drive. And some canned food, some buckshot shells. Got a sawn off shotgun, of course. And a fair amount of ammo now, too. Let's just check upstairs. Is it turning night as well, or is it just getting darker? I might need to adjust my brightness a little. Nothing in the box. There's some cigarettes on the on the ground. This game is very cool so far. It is uh, it is tough. The difficulty is tougher than I thought it was going to be, but I am playing on hardest difficulty, so I mean, it's to be expected. Uh, do I want to use that food? I probably do, right? Get my health back up again. And now the question is, do I want to go back just yet, or do I want to go out and find this cache in the woods? I think that's probably what... Yeah, what that is. Exactly. So I will go and try and find that now. I'm also going to hit save. Um, yeah, let's go and try and find it. That's the guy, isn't it? Pretty sure that's going to be him. Let's get the sawn off out. Is that him actually, or is that... Oh, there's shots going on. Wait, is that Nimble, or... Oh, it is Nimble. Wait, so... Oh, I see. Sounds like there's a, ba a battle going on. So I have been th also thinking about potentially um, turning the music off. Ooh, I don't want to get radiated. Um, I haven't really decided yet. It should just be dead ahead, but then there is going to be that other guy. Let's give it another save. Can I jump this? No. I do need to, I think, turn this brightness up a little. It's quite bright in my room. And I can barely see. <laughs> There's a couple of dogs in the distance. Ah, is that the guy? No, that's a dog. It's just up the road. Would prefer not to fight those dogs, but they do go down quite quick from our first interactions with them. Let's just move up. Actually, it might be a good idea to get some high ground so I can 
scope in on the uh we'll use the binoculars oh hello oh my god that's one of those big thick boys <laughs> okay i'm not gonna go up that way let's just move around here I don't know what that's meant to be, like, oh, there's more dogs. I don't know if they're meant to, it's not meant to be a dog, it's like a wild boar that's infected. And that was one of the other quests that I didn't take from... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I got one of them. To wait for him to get a little bit closer, maybe. Do they hunt in packs, these things? I thought I saw another one in, over the um, horizon, over this hill, but it could have been a... Uh, not a player, but a... Uh, could have been the other bandit. Because he's definitely meant to be around here, isn't he? Let's give it another save. Is that him there, or is that a dog? That's a dog. I don't think I can jump these fences, so I won't be doing that. Ah, there is a guy in there, I think. Is that a guy? Or is that a dog? It's moving pretty quick. Oh, it's one of the boar things. Okay, let's slowly move in. I might be able to kill this. If he, if he runs to me, I can... Okay, that doesn't kill him, wow. I think that put him down. Okay. Wow, that took three buckshot. Attitude enemy. <laughs> okay. Doesn't explain what it is. I think it might be a, some kind of infected boar, though. God, these things are bullet sponges. What is going on? limping. Okay, I'm not going to waste any more ammo on him, although I do have quite a lot now. But I am a bit scared that there's going to be another person here, a bandit. Let's just be on our... Ah, okay, this is the... this is what he was talking about. A male jacket. Common weak bandit body armor with... Um, Mail plate sewn in. Anyone can do it. Okay, so is it better than this? It's kind of got to be, hasn't it? Bulletproofing, 28. So we'll wear it for the moment until we make it back and then we'll give it to him. To old Nimble. This dog is just not wanting to, <laughs> to leave the area. You should get out of here, dog. Well, that happens. Oh, wow. It's raining. Blue skies as well. Ooh. Blind dog tail. The abundance of unusual neuro tissue in the tail of the blind dog make it valuable to science uh, scientists. Okay. Well, I will take it then, that's for sure. Nice and bright now. Things got very grayscale. Um, and the bobbing was making my eyes go a bit weird. I don't really have a specific reason to take it very slowly, but I'm going to because I know there's a one, another one of those freaky... there he is. Freaky things. <laughs> freaky things out there. 
Um, and I might just have one more pass over this uh, give it a save as well, this area, just in case I've missed any um, corpses or loot. Because I have a feeling that things like that will be pretty valuable in this kind of game. They always are. I'm very pleased that one of the men also survived in the unrecorded um, battles I had. Uh, most of the time all three of them would die and then I would be left and I'd get shotgunned in the face. So we're heading, oops, heading back to Cor uh, Corden. That's the customer who wanted the suit and also our trader, Sid, whatever his name is. Oh no. Oh dear. I just ran straight into some dodgy stuff. Okay, well I have to have to be aware of that. Why is it auto running? It's, it's done that a couple of times now. I know this game is a little bit buggy, but it sometimes it just starts sprinting out of nowhere. Who's that? That's a pet uh, fence. <laughs> There's the dogs under there, I think. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Let's head back. I need to get out of the rain. Oh, there's three men down the road. Are they the soldiers that are... Oh, and there's one of those boar things. I think these are the soldiers that uh, Wolf spoke to on his radio. Oh god, there's another one. Is he attacking me? I think he is. Oh wow, nice shot. Nice shot, bro nice shot brother. Take a look at those soldiers again. I think they said, you know, stay out of our way, so... And they definitely... Oh, they are maybe enemies. They're highlighted in red. So the loner people are maybe a different... tribe or clan faction than the soldiers. I'm assuming the soldiers, you know, work for whatever government there is... that is left. Okay, let's return. So much old shit you couldn't scoop it out with a ladle. The bandits went the bandits went mad, the swine. We tread between the anomalies trying to get to the artifacts. And they're the ones stealing other people's goods, asses. Just watch out and don't wander into the garbage. I think he did just tell me something interesting, didn't he? Why am I so much smaller than him? Oh, I'm just lower down, okay. And now it says 10 on the top left. I don't know what that means. Is that there's 10 people in the area? 11 people? The guy's playing guitar again, rain or shine. To speak to this guy. I've got your suit for you. Oh, it's nimble. And here's the reward. Item lost. So he gave me stone flower. And that's it. I think I preferred the jacket. <laughs> so what did he give me? Stone flower. Oh, it's an artifact. Okay. Very calming to study this artifact at night by the fire. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we could do that in a bit, I guess. There's a fire right here. Our man with the guitar doesn't seem to be here. Here's Wolf. That's awesome, man. Here, take this personal reward. And if you see my friend Bess in your travels, tell him I sent you. He keeps a stash of ammo that he doesn't use up high in a tower. I've got a jellyfish. Destroy the boar layer. Okay. I can, I can do that. And 
that's the boar area. Let's go and find our friend. I feel like it's very loud with all this rain and the guitar. Did he just try and hit me? Oh, he stopped as soon as I got close. Can I speak to him? No. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Just the other day, Otter died absolutely for nothing. Just can't believe it. You haven't ever heard about Otter, have you? Practically a professor here from the very first time. He knew the zone like the back of his hand. And then like that, out of the blue. There are some real experienced stalkers out here, but the zone still takes them. There are others who end up going back to the big land. The big land, I guess, is, is uh, Mother Russia. Or, you know, the USSR, whatever state that's in. Oh, and he's green, isn't he? So I think he's a special character. Let me just try and go back round to him. What's his name? Tolik. So he's probably going to be a central of fugal character, maybe. I'll go back to the trader to Sid. Sid Vicious. You got the loot? I do indeed, Prapor. Nice, here it is. Uh, Captain Stalker's flash drive lost in 1500. Nice. Get information from the scout. Listen, Markova. I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? So I, do, I still don't think we know who Strelok is yet. Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. And they say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. And that is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelik fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Well, I mean, I'll get my share of our mutual profit. <laughs> So what do you say? Deal. I, uh, I'm not sure if I trust him, but All right, I guess we have to. You mean business, I can see that. And I, I mean, we need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see, there's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grunts for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. And we really need this stuff. You know what I mean? Interesting. Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDA. Clear? Okay. So we're going to need to go to a research institute. That sounds like there's going to be a lot of people You'll there. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroprom Research Institute after a few kilometers. And be careful. The radiation level is way too high at the garbage. So I suggest you invest in some anti-rad. Or some vodka. Well, good luck. Something I've just realized we haven't done at all so far is actually trade with anyone. So I will do that. In a second, um, apparently I'm going to need to get some anti-rad. <laughs> what special missions you haven't finished the last one? Ask away, but I don't know anything. I sit here all day. I can tell you about the zone in general. Okay. 
Do you know what happened to me? What kind of question is that? You see there's some shady business. They found you in a death truck. That's a kind of corpse carrier. These trucks come in from the center of the zone once in a while, loaded with bodies. No one really knows where they're heading. So one of them crashes in something and you are found nearby. This is the most amazing thing of all. We've found broken down corpse carriers before, but no one ever came out of them alive. I'm sorry, bro. That's all I can help with. Interesting. So I wonder if we were a corpse in the van, in the car, or if we were driving. We, we just don't know. I'd like to find out more. Tell me about the zone. The zone you see, it's not just a circle a few kilometers in diameter. With a nuclear power plant in the center, it's something bizarre, really bizarre. I don't, I doubt anyone in the world could give you a straight answer. I feel the zone isn't even part of this world. It's a different, detached world, weird and dangerous, and attractive too, and you know why? Because with a little luck, anyone can get rich quick. And the closer you come to the center, the higher you will climb on the money ladder. Interesting. What's so dangerous about the different world? Not a lot, except you can croak any second and not know what hit you. A dumb soldier's bullet is the least of the problems. Although they've pulled in a lot of military. Getting shot is basically the most painless kind of death in the zone. Anomalies. Now there's something for you. To die in an anomaly is a terrible thing indeed. Even mutants. Okay, so there are mutants in the game. Try to keep away from them. By the way, mutants, these children of the zone, are another kind of trouble. So don't go anywhere unarmed. And anyway, to learn about others' dangers, just ask other stalkers. How does anyone get rich? G-Man, what do you think? You don't remember artifacts. That's the most important thing. Okay. So I've already got a few. A couple, I think, right? Artifacts are more precious than gold, diamonds, or pure plutonium. Why? Because no Jeroon in the world can give you supernatural powers. Oh. Hang a little gadget on your b belt that makes bullets swerve and never hit you. What? <laughs> this is getting all supernatural. And I will be ending the episode soon. I just want to get all of this uh, dialogue done so I can learn a little bit. Um, does anyone know what's happening? Different tale every time you hear it is a bunch of fairy tales, except I don't believe all that otherworldly nonsense. The only thing I do believe is that the center of the zone contains a lot of valuable artifacts. So he's, he's all about the artifacts and the money, of course. Who is Strelok? Heard of a stalker. Rumour is he's one of the few who went to the center of the zone and made it back. Still, we've got so many of the legendary stalker, uh, legendary stories about stalker heroes that I can't really guarantee. Never dealt with him personally. He has his own trading channels. What does the army do in the zone? They guard and protect. What else? No one really knows whether they're guarding the zone or protecting the rest of the world from it. Sometimes they send the whole expeditions in there. To look for something, but I'll tell you something, they don't respect the zone, the zone doesn't like them either. So none of these guys that I'm talking to are in the army, okay. What else is there? Well they don't look down at everyone and act like gods or something. They have no respect for stalker rules and wouldn't even, even help you out if you were dying in front of them. They'll gladly shoot you themselves. I've got a few contacts among them, you know, people always need vod vodka and magazines. Okay. I'd like to find out more. What's going on in this neighborhood? Oh wow, there's so much. <laughs> this is the entrance to the zone, a sort of antechamber. We've got an army cordon here. It's relatively quiet with the exception of a couple of army guys who like to have some fun and go on shakedown runs. So that's maybe some of the guys I saw down the road. Experienced stalkers don't come by very often, so it's mostly rookies. So we are a stalker then, the marked one. Our own character is a stalker because I have that tattoo. I just don't remember it. Some settle here for good. A little ways from here there's a farm made into a rookie camp. Watch yourself there. They aren't afraid to pull the trigger then push when push comes to shove. You won't make huge profit. There's a deserted factory across the road to the north. An army outpost lies to the south. Beware, there's a military. The military left some mines. Oh god. Also, there used to be a bridge to the center. A few soldiers have been ordered to shoot on sight, so you better walk around it. Okay, so the army outpost. If you piss them off, they may call for spetsnats from the f from the further cordon. What are spetsnats? I've heard that word before. Spetsnaz. These guys can brew up a lot of shit. Uh, such shit. I've cast this for a month. Okay. A couple of minutes north of here, you'll see it right away. There used to be a bridge over the road. Is that what I was under? 
No, I don't think so. Okay. Factory. Cross the road and you'll see a brick building, that's it. Oh, I think that may have been what I saw in the distance um, in the first episode before we went to the right to the car park. Everything worth seeing is already gone, just this one box is left, that's the bandit's favourite place. I don't know if they're there now, but watch out just in case. You've got nothing valuable on, the, on you to take. Okay, interesting. You're getting boring, you know, that's just a farm like any other. Okay. Thanks, that's all. Okay, well, that's the end of this episode, I think. Um, certainly been a good one. Again, I apologise for the 20 minutes prior not being recorded. I'm kicking myself for that. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.